Hello, Pathfinder. A moment? What can I do for you, Doctor? I have a math problem. Some vital equations that only a mind like Sam's could solve. They concern strange transmission patterns in the Scourge. Perhaps random noise, perhaps not. That could be a ship, or even turbulence in the Scourge we should know about. Given the complexity and the security implications, I recommend transferring the equations directly into Sam node. I have them on an optical storage disk for you. I'll see if I have time. Thank you, Pathfinder. Please thank Sam as well. The beauty of the cosmos unfolds in your planet scans, Pathfinder. But there is more they can do. Do you have something in mind, Doctor? Plans for a school are underway to inspire a new generation of young minds. I want to craft a model of the cluster for them, accurate and splendid from your data. My prototype is on that console. Add more scans to improve it, and I will share my educational budget with you. And my thanks. Trouble. I've got power shortages throughout the station. I can't for the life of me find the cause. Oh, whoa, you, you're the Pathfinder. Hey, sorry, please ignore me. You've got way more important things to do. That's a fact, but if I happen to see anything, I'll let you know. That's something. Thank you. There's a power short here. We could scan the area. Another power short. It's rife with dark energy, troubling the fabric of space and time. I'm 
Nexus scan to assess the nature of the damage. On behalf of the Nexus, I welcome, welcome back. the cultural center. Please have a look around. We hope you'll enjoy learning about the rich diversity of people. Glad I went to school for this. Just when I've balanced the air mix, another Yahoo has to come wandering through. Aren't you the Pathfinder? Dr. Camden, head of hydroponic sciences. Mind the seedlings. Are you always this rude to people walking in? Only when a mistake could kill everyone on the Nexus. What do you mean? <sighs> Hydroponics is our air, food and water. A frail green line between us and Oblivion. We almost lost it all during the mutiny. Now it's my responsibility. If you welcomed people, you'd have more hands to keep everything running. <laughs> Quite astute. If you'll forgive me, perhaps I could begin with you. I need samples of Andromeda's plant life. Our own specimens should acclimatize to them. Bring me any plants you find. You'll have a bounty in return, and my thanks. Flag everyone. That's Podromos. Things are shaping up, Pathfinder. Resources flowing in, sleep is ready to head out. It's starting to feel like the initiative. Not quite up to the sales pitch, but getting there. Feels good, right? We came too close to not making it. 
I feel relief, but I wouldn't say good. Yeah, that's under there. Could have gone real bad. But it didn't. And that was you. And me. Maybe some others. We're digging in. We got this. Hey, I was wondering if you could help me out. It's for the good of the bar. Lay it on me. So, folks try and help and all, but we have a limited pool of ingredients. Keep an eye out for anything interesting we could use for new drinks, and we'll let you test them for free. Right. I get a feeling the testing will be interesting. Don't worry. Dutch may complain a lot, but he's loving it. And he's the best chemist I know. You're in good hands. Drinks are fizzing tonight. Oh, another one! Damn it! This is supposed to be the chemistry lab. My chemistry lab. You all keep crawling out of the woodwork like space cockroaches. You say that, Dutch, but here you are, pouring people drinks. Uh, hi. I'm standing right here. They're guinea pigs, damn it. Chemists should have guinea pigs. Not have their labs taken over by people giving them things and... and being nice. Aren't bartenders usually friendly? They're kind of hostile. I'm not supposed to be a bartender. I'm supposed to be a chemist. Don't let Dutch put you off. He's a sweetie, really. I'm not. And the drinks are good. Damn right they are. Uh, I mean... <sighs> yeah. I'm a dirty squirrel. Welcome back. You're back. People happen when you work at a bar. <laughs> Got you there, Dutch. I'll have to get used to you too, I guess. <laughs> Fine. You can be a regular. What's your name? Ryder. I'm Dutch. That's Anan over there. Be careful. The snark is strong with that one. I'll be careful. I was being careful. Look where it got me. A station bartender with people offering help all the time. And they just want free drinks. That too. You'd think people would reconsider picking on the guy making the drinks, but no. Speaking of, want to try this one? I'm going to call it the Tall Moose. You again. Oh, I mean, hello. Welcome to my lab. Bar. Whatever. Oh, Dutch. Look at you, getting all used to things. Things are fine. It's people I don't like. They talk back. They can't talk if they're busy drinking. That's just... brilliant. I can do that. Wait, you're messing with me, aren't you? I would never. Right, here, have a drink. Rotten scoundrel. Hey, now. The drink, not you. drinks for Pathfinders. I'll make sure of it. Sure. Let me know what materials you need, and I'll find you something. That's... Hey.
possessions, everything. I know, I know. The reality just isn't what I expected. Still missing some parts. Got this. Damn it. Got that. Still missing those. Nice to see you again. odds as talks break down over a unified curriculum for initiative kids. The Asari say they'll wait it out until demands are met. This is h &S. Once we gather a few more colonists, we'll be taking you over to the Nexus. You'll need to clear immigration. Back for a visit. So you and Lexi swapped jobs? You know that moment when you realize you're just getting too old? Uh... Ha, <laughs> right, look who I'm talking to. Trust me, it happens. For me, it was Habitat 7. Watching you guys running around, dodging lightning and the cat, it's a young man's game. Pains me to admit it, but it's passed me by. So it made sense that Lexi and I switched places. She's younger. Well, for a sorry, they're still teenagers when they're 200. And she's one hell of a doctor. She'll serve the Tempest well. That's all, Harry. Thanks. I'll be here if you need me. Residents are still mourning the loss of Gene Garson. The initiative founder was killed when the Nexus hit the Scourge. An official tribute is planned, though Director Jaron Tan has provided a few details so far. Without Gene, we wouldn't be here. But now that we are here, we need to focus on surviving before we can celebrate. It's this you. is h &S. You, Pathfinder. I have a word or two for you. Is there a problem? Your father is my problem. He's everyone's problem. We're all paying for Alec Ryder's ego. He preyed on Jean Garson's trusting nature and bulldozed us to this godforsaken place. Now she's dead, and we'll all soon follow. This might be my dad's mess, but I will clean it up. Talk about ego. You're no different from him. You think you can do this all yourself. Go to hell, Pathfinder. <laughs> 